Pan community. Thanks for tuning in to this channel. My name is Pam and welcome everybody to the Plant Lounge where I'm giving you guys the opportunity to showcase some of your beautiful plants. Now you may just be wondering how can I become part of this beautiful series? Well my friend, it's very easy. You just simply send me a message on Instagram, provide me with your name, select between three to five of your beautiful plant baby pictures as well as where you're from we would love to know where you're growing those plant babies and if you want to share some interesting facts by all means share and i'll be more than happy to feature it on the next series or the next segment so to speak so yeah let's get right into it today's guest you guys we have a special one of course everyone who's been on this series has been special um, but leanne leanne has been one of my i guess oldest or uh, longest subscribers. So everybody give a round of applause for Leanne. She's from Bridgewater, Massachusetts, and she reached out to me and provided me with some beautiful, awesome pictures. I can't wait to show you guys um, part of her plant collection. Now she did select, I believe, five plants, you guys, and before we actually get into it, um, Leanne found it to be difficult, you guys, to select just five plants. And it is not as easy as you may think or as it looks, especially if you have a large collection. Um, I go through that challenge each and every month when I show you guys some of my top five or possibly top 10 plants um, from my collection. So let's just start with the first picture right here, you guys. This is actually her variegated Hindu rope. And I have just a, uh, I have one, you guys, and I am just in awe of this beautiful plant. Um, this is what I too wish mine could be. Now, Leanne actually received this plant I want to say about a year ago and she actually got it at an awesome deal for the size that it is and I mean it is growing beautifully I just love the trails you know and honestly if I was to see this somewhere I probably too would get it but honestly I have not been able to see any um, actually any of that where they're even trailing you know I'm only seeing very small specimens so Leanne if you did get this at a good deal I'm so glad you picked this thing up and I would have as well very beautiful yes beautiful 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 now let's just go to the next pick and I'm also loving this plant as well I do have this one as well and this is her beautiful Paris so verde the philodendron um, and this one is also special to her because when she brought this plant, you guys, amazingly, it was just a seedling. Um, and for the first year, she only was able to obtain or get just three, well, green leaves from the growth as we all tend to experience anybody who actually has this plant. But within this growing season, as you can see, she's also experienced that new birth of that fresh, bright color that we're all sorting after when we buy this beautiful Paris so Verde. Um, I can share your joy, uh, Leanne, because this year was my first year of actually seeing that actual uh, burst of color. So exciting. Um, I'm wishing you luck, and I hope everyone in the playing community can wish me luck as well, or us both luck equally on maintaining the color. Um, did you actually, and she also have, if you look closely in the picture to you guys, she actually has another leaf that um, unfurled. Leanne, please let me know whether or not if that leaf is unfurled yet. And if so, did that leaf maintain or also have variegation on it? And also too, I'm curious, have you been growing this plant indoors? Honestly, you guys, my burst of color only came after putting my plant outside. So now it's time to bring those plants back in. I'm not sure if the next leaf is gonna show that beautiful variegation. I'll wait and see. I'm trying to make sure I maintain the lighting as, as best as I can. I do believe with Paris Verdes, you guys, the lighting is the key, but Leanne has pulled it off and I'm so excited that you were actually able to get that beautiful marking on that leaf. Now, plant number three, you guys, this plant is a beauty and it's actually very unique and very different. Um, Leanne actually saw this plant the first time when she went to a particular a local nursery of hers and it was not for sale unfortunately. It was only just one plant and it was the actual owner's collection. But she did not give up you guys. She was adamant about getting this plant and she went and actually did research on this plant because she wanted to find out exactly the name or t species type. So this picture you guys look at it. I love the funkiness of this of the leaves. 
The leaves are crinkly. Leanne also stated that the leaves feel like leather, which is another thing. I love texture. So um, to actually experience the feeling of this, and I forgot to share with you guys the actual name. My apologies there. Um, but Leanne says that it's the philodendron rugosum, the aberrant form, which is very unique. Never heard of it, but it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I'm looking at how well or how huge the leaves look like already. Um, wow, it's absolutely amazing. It's like checking all the boxes for me because I don't know. Y'all comment below. Are y'all a lover of those dark green leaves? I really do love dark green. I like the lime greens and the light greens. They pair well together when you put them together because you actually see like a different transformation of the hues of colors of greens. But I really do admire dark green. And she is saying that it feels like leather oh wow i just think oh man it's like ah oh. the leaves are you know leanne made a mention that the leaves look like pod ears and i have to agree with her they really do it's a very unique plant you guys if y'all are able to find this or come across this you know this would actually be one of those rare different unique plants that you want to add in your collection this is something that i wouldn't mind having in my own collection as well but i'm curious as to how big would this plant actually grow in the wild? You know, by my by me having a large plant collection, I do try to be a little bit mindful of what they can be at the end, how big of a space they're gonna actually take. And this thing looks like it's gonna wind up being a very beautiful big specimen. I'm super excited for you, Leanne. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful pic with us. Now, the next one, you guys, is actually a Hindu rope. This is the Mauna Loa, and I believe, is that the one where I believe the variegation is actually in the inside of the plant, correct? As opposed to the outer variegation, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, please. Somebody comment below and let me know if that is the thing. I believe it is. Um, now, it's been in her collection for over a year, and it's still bringing her so much joy, and it would bring me joy as well. She got it in this beautiful planter, you guys, which she actually found on the clearance racks at Kohl's. So Kohl's, you guys, if you have any in your area where you live at, that is also another good place, discounted place, where you can find unique gems, and she did find a gem here with this, and I think it pairs very well. Uh, with the plant, you know, I am a sucker for like I said the dark green leaves on on this Hindu rope is very beautiful It's contrasting well with is that like a I don't know like a stone uh, Terracotta like uh, I don't know planter or whatever, but it's beautiful man like ah Love it. Love it. Love it. Y'all comment below and let me know and I love the the variegation on here is just amazing. Amazing. Oh man, I'm just looking at this and what I heard was in my brain was you guys was a ching ching. Not ching ching as far as money, but ching ching is adding that stuff on my list, which eventually will cause me to spend more money. But this thing is very gorgeous. Wow. It just goes so well with that planter, I think. That really suits my vibe. I'm so into the natural um, colors. I'm out, and by the way, Sidebar, I'm trying to break away from that, you guys, um, as far as trying to add a little bit more spice, a little bit more color in my life. And it's probably why this pink top, I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, moving on to the last and final pick, which is stunningly gorgeous. Like, this plant right here is honestly making my heart beat fast. Let me just share with you guys what it is. This plant is gorgeous. It is, of course, the pink Princess Marble Philodendron, you guys. This is a special gift for Leanne because this was a gift given to her by her daughter. And oh my God, Leanne, your daughter found a great plant. I have to, and keep in mind, while y'all looking at it on the screen, I'm looking at it on my phone so I can be able to actually communicate my actual love for the plant. This plant is absolutely amazing. Like, Darn, this is a this is a sexy plant. I gotta say, the plant is absolutely a beautiful specimen. I love that marbling, the splash of it. It's like a combination of Pink Princess and Thai Constellation had a baby and they did beautiful things to create this species right here. Oh my gosh. Woo. Mm. Dang, Leanne, this is really a nice 
please. Do me a favor and give your daughter a hug for me on behalf of the entire plant community and just thank her highly. This is a very beautiful plant. And this would be any gifts that you get from your kids is always a cherished gift. Um, but also on, on top of that, it's just really a beautiful specimen. Look at that mixture of the colors. You know, really it's like the marbling of the pink and then it has the subtle, looks like that like subtle of some white creaminess or light pink to different shades of pink. Oh man, I mean, I, I like my pink princess as well. It's just basically, I'm looking at it right now, has just a splash of pink here and there, but oh, I would really love to be able to grow this up. Oh man, Leanne, you made me in trouble now. I'm at the end. And another plant onto the list, you guys. Y'all comment below and let me know. Would y'all add some of these plants on your wish list now? I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm actually in trouble now. I can, I, I'm sorry, I'm going on, on and on about this plant, but I honestly could look at it all day. This plant is so gorgeous, it needs to be really part of some form of a wallpaper. I don't know, but anyway, that wraps it up. Give another round of applause, everyone, to Leanne. Thank you so much for Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Took the time out to join us on this plant lounge and share some of these beautiful specimen of plants. I truly enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Comment below, let me know your thoughts on it once again. Uh, please remember the steps if you too want to become a participant of this series. And that pretty much wraps up this video, you guys. You keep in mind if you love foliage as much as I do and you love listening to planty things, you know what to do. Subscribe if you have not. Please push those thumbs up, you guys. Push them up. Subscribe, please. I appreciate any form of subscription, you guys. A lot of you are watching, but a lot of people aren't subscribed. So if you can help me out, please, I appreciate it. It's free. Just go ahead and push that button somewhere around. Anyway, enjoy your day wherever you are in the world, you guys. Till next time, much love. Bye.